The final semi final boat in the side games presents Rise in Fighting World Grand Prix 2016. Amir Alyakbari, Valentin Moldovsky, the winner, will take on Mirko Krokop later on this evening. You know, and this is this is an interesting question. You know, if you're Mirko Krokop, which one of these men would you rather face? Would you rather face a heavier wrestler? Or would you rather face a more well-rounded, sm well smaller man closer to weight? Here? And I, you know, I don't really know exactly what it is that Mirko would be thinking in this situation. I think Mirko would rather go with the un uh, less experienced wrestler. Really? Uh, we saw yesterday. Once you put your hands on him, he was in some trouble. And it could be true. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we see Amir really rushing, rushing the Russian actually. <laughs> Good call there, Heath. Joe Ferrara here alongside the Texas Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse Heath Herring, and of course the baddest man on the planet, Joe Warren. Amir Al-Akbari here rushing in there, trying to knock out his opponent. To my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, Heath, perhaps what Moldovsky wants to do is try and get Al-Akbari to the second or third round. You know, I, really, he's really doing a really good job of keeping on his feet. He doesn't look like he wants to go to the ground. He's actually trying to avoid Amir. Amir's doing a good job trying to work him into the corner. He's throwing big shots. But I'm, you know, this is the kind of situation we might see. Uh, we saw yesterday with King Mo and Mirko, where the bigger once Mirko was able to land some shots on him, he was definitely able to hurt him. Yeah, I mean, Modalski is doing one thing that's strange. He's moving into his power. I, that's a very good call there, Joe Warren. He was just sitting there and he was getting too close. He was making this fight, bringing it into a phone booth, which is what you don't want to do against a wrestler. Right. And we see what we've seen. Modalski really just being relaxed right here, taking his time. He's in no hurry. So we're going to see the submission uh, prowess of Moldovsky here on the ground. You see, he's absolutely relaxed. He's locking. Uh, he's over the over the shoulders now of Amir. He's locking him up. It's really tough for Amir to try to get that neck out. Yep, and this is where I talk about bringing your head back inside, getting it underneath that chin. Absolutely. And if he can posture back up, this is where Amir will do his damage with his punching. But, Amir's using a lot of energy right now compared to what Moldovsky is. You see Moldovsky completely relaxed in this situation. He's actually just, he's not using much power at all. He's just, he's just in, a, in a grip right now. So he's actually making Amir carry his weight and try to get himself out. Yeah, go ahead. You are right, Amir. One, uh, you know, Jiu Jitsu 101, you do not post your hand flat on the mat. And these are situations with a new fighter where sometimes you get into some trouble. And look for the referee here if action does not continue and there's no submission there. Unless you see that gun sign, there's no submission. The referee would stand them up, but Amir is able now to free himself. You know, and I'm wondering if, if from the fight that they saw that Amir gassed a little bit in the first round, is if maybe the idea of Moldovsky is to come out and really tire Amir out in this first round and then maybe turn up the pressure on him in the second. This you, is can, you can tell the coaching here, Joe. You can tell uh, Moldovsky, he's just holding on to him over and under hook, trying to bring him to the body so he can get, cannot create that distance to land those heavy punches. Right. Amir yeah, Moldovsky. working valiantly to get that left leg free. You do not want him inside control or a mount. Moldovsky does give up his back, though. And we're seeing here, we're, so we're like halfway through the round right now, and we're seeing if Amir's going to start gassing again. Yep. We might see somebody go flying, perhaps. Yeah, that takes yeah. a lot of energy, <laughs> though, from Amir. And you see Moldovsky doing a really good job of getting between the ropes to keep, to keep from getting put in that salto position. Very technical battle here going on, gentlemen. Yeah, and, I, and it takes a lot of energy to do what Amir's doing as a wrestler, to keep all your pressure right. on him, keep that weight down. It takes a lot of energy. That's why you saw him break a little bit with you, Heath. Yeah, and I think, I think actually, now that I'm seeing, I think that's Valentine's game plan. I think it's a little bit of a war of attrition. Try to kind of grind him down this first round. Don't get him to do anything too crazy. Just kind of get him trying to gas, and then I think he's going to try to turn up the heat in the second round. We've seen a lot of game plan, right, Joe, from Madalski. I think the, uh, his corner is a very edgy educated uh, big man coaching team. I think I this agree. is exactly what they wanted him to do. The further this fight goes, the bigger man will be sucking a lot of oxygen, and we can see it right now, Moldos, or it appears, 
Correct me if I'm wrong, Alec Bar is now beginning to breathe heavy, but he is working. He is working. He is working. He's got the clinch. He's trying to get that trip takedown. This takes a lot of energy from a wrestler. And if you guys notice, you'll see Moldovsky actually looking up at the at the jumbo John. And I think what he's doing is that he's looking at the time. Mm -hmm. I think he's just absolutely it's just a war of attrition at this point. He's letting he's trying to make Amir gas himself out. And, I, and we're going to see what happens at the beginning of the second round. That's what I was speaking about is his coaching also, Madolski's. Now you, you know, the hands got, down on by Amir. He looks fatigued, gentlemen. Team. Yep. Hands are But I'm sure he's bit. been in this position many, many times. It appears yeah, like he's actually fatigued. backing out. Yeah, you're right. He is backing up here. Madolski's footwork. Yeah. Look at his footwork. We saw this two days ago. Started to move. He's now not going into the body. Goes to the body yep. with that left kick. Good call, Joe. Oh, and a combination throw by Moldovsky. 20 seconds left in the opening round. Yep. Some blood coming from the nose of Amir Akbari. Uh, in the second round, I think there's going to be some fireworks to yep. Moldovsky also has Fedor in his corner all the time in practice. And there he does so it again, Joe here. Warren. Moldovsky with the right hand, swing, just faking it. What's coming? Is it my left or is it my right? And here again, you see he's just absolutely grinding it out. All right, gentlemen, round one is in the books. Who do you have it scored for? I think I got, I got Modolski winning uh, that round first. I really? think his, his pressure looked good. I think he was moving well. You seeing uh, Mir hit him with that left hook and come forward. I just didn't see much damage. I saw a bigger man end up getting on top, but not getting the job done. No, I mean, here you see, I, I, you know, I have, to, I, I have to respectfully disagree. I think, I think okay. actually the round would go to uh, Mir, you know, at, you get the takedowns. I think he landed the most damage. I think we saw uh, Moldovsky actually fighting a smarter fight yep. by, by actually trying to gas the bigger man out. But I would definitely give the first round to Amir. If you are Mike Swig and you are in Alec Bari's corner right now, what are you telling your fighter? Suck it up. <laughs> you got to get that air in. Take a relax. The guy's trying to grind you out and be ready. I think I think be ready for a hurricane coming out at the beginning of this round. And let's not forget, gentlemen, Prokop defeated Baruto in seconds. Exactly. Yeah. These two guys are now entering the second round, and it could be another long one, perhaps. It could be a short one, but either way, they've expended more energy yep. than the Croatian. Now, yep. Valentine looks a little bit more fresh. Yeah, Valentine's bouncing a little more. We'll see if he comes out, moves I away think, from the power, and makes sure that he, I think he does Valentine's not get turn into a wrestling match. I think you're right, Heath. I think there you go. You're going to start to pick up the pace and really try and fatigue yep. and have Alec Bari make that mistake. But the problem is now he's behind one round. Yep. But he's really got to pick up the pace and put some damages now. I think his, I think his, his first reaction was to try to gas him, but now he's going to try to pick up the pace. Combinations. And, hooks being thrown now by the Russian. Um, Alec Bari responds to the wrong combination. There's a problem with being at, fighting a heavier man. It's a big tank versus little tank. If the big tank hits you, you could be in trouble. Alec Bari's hands are coming down a little bit, though. And it looks like Moldovsky's trying to cross those feet when he throws those combinations, working his angles. Correct. Amir, see, it looks flat-footed. Moldovsky looks like he's on his toes, and he's moving real well this room. Now, this is a situation that Amir obviously wants to be in, in a, you know, a walk-up position. Oh, Moldovsky, and we see Moldovsky Great really putting, up the, putting, up, putting on the pressure this time. Oh, he needs to get out of the corner, though. This is the, oh, he oh, throws a right hand. Right. Fantastic straight ride. He is getting out of dodge, working those angles, sticking and moving here. Yeah, Moldowski's really picking up the pace now. Moldowski maybe go to the body a little bit here, drop his hands, Amir, a little bit. Oh, Amir, go for the takedown. That's exactly nice what Amir like Barley wanted. Yeah, this is not the position that Moldowski wants to be in. The bigger man on top. We are only a minute 15 into the second round here. This is Moldowski's power position. You know, Moldovsky looks like he's trying to, actually, I was trying the exact same move last night. I mean, Amir's way too good, though, I think, for, to, get, to get caught in that position. And we, so we see Amir wanting to take the takedown. Nice little leg trip. Keep it on top. Let's not kid ourselves, though. Moldovsky has a Sambo background. Absolutely. Those legs can be grabbed at any one point in time. Yeah, he's got a Sambo background, but he's got a big, strong oh, big, Greco-Roman big world shots. champ on top of him that understands hip pressure. Right. How about you see Moldovsky looking up at the clock again? I think he's ready to start turning up the pressure. But he's got to get the big man off his back. We're seeing him here. Oh, yeah. He's going for that Kimura again. And you saw him reaching down for the leg right there. Got to love the referee. Stop, don't move. Don't move until I tell you to move. Yeah, he's a big dude himself, Heath. Amir Fantastic. wants to stay right here. Double underhooks, we pressure got into got the side of this, right this ring. It's a great position for him. He's going to step around and then bring, end up bringing Medolsi to his back with a body lock if he can. 
He just lost that. Now they're in an over and under position. And he's digging that underhook right. back to a double underhook. This is a very safe position. Go back to muscle memory. It's right. a wrestling move. This is for a Greco guy. Mm -hmm. we're, we're past the midway point of the round. Right. We have about 2.15 left. Okay, now Moldovsky again looking up at the clock, looking up at the big this screen. This benefits Moldovsky, absolutely, the break here. I think Amir was actually, right now I've got Amir ahead in this round, but Moldovsky obviously looking fresher now, looking to fill, land, big, land big shots. A sense of urgency now with Valentin Moldovsky. Perhaps he believes he lost that first round. He needs to pick up the pace here absolutely. and finish off his opponent, or at least win this round. Yeah. Do you agree, Modalski should maybe start that front leg kick? I, I think it's a little bit late now to start okay, the front leg kick. Okay, you think it needs to start do. early in the round? At, you absolutely have to start hurting, working on a leg and hurting him. Yep. Um, it really looks good. like Alikbari is loading up for something here. He wants to get there. It is the knee there. Moldowski felt that there. Oh, nice left hook. It's the nice. night of the knees. And really, this is just where you see weight taking, the, you know, weight making the, the difference in the, in the clinch. Now, Moldovsky's doing a fantastic job of moving on the outside, and Amir's really dropping those hands. He's got to be careful. We saw a little bit it's of Moldovsky now with the double underhooks. Absolutely. Try to foot sweep. He's going to an over and under clinch. Yeah, this this doesn't benefit Moldovsky. I don't know why he's clinching. He needs to stay on the outside and, and try you know, to he, try to land shots. You are completely right. He needs to dig under hooks here and go back into a double under hook. There we got him here. He's gonna go for the double leg. Now he's gonna go into a single leg. Got Gets nice the takedown here. Less than one minute to go in the second round here. Side Games presents Ryzen Fighting World Grand Prix 2016. Amir Alekbari. He was the favorite coming in to this tournament. Moldovsky took that away, but it's Amir right now controlling his Russian opponent. Yeah, and really Moldovsky's either got a submission, got to get a submission or a knockout here to, to win the fight. He's got 35 seconds to do so. Referee's calling a stoppage here. Or asking elbow. for Oh. He elbowed. Uh, I mean, remember, no elbows allowed right. in the tournament bouts. It looked like a forearm to me. Now this absolutely benefits Moldovsky. This is it. There well, could be. Want to? Oh, will there be. Is there a foul? A yellow given? card here. I think it was the elbow. Not allowed to throw an elbow. Okay, now this changes things considerably, gentlemen. Yes, I believe. I didn't think there would be a third. He's round. asking him to go to a neutral corner. It looks like there could be one. Thirty coming. seconds now. The doctor has checked on Moldovsky. The referee has stated you are not allowed to throw an elbow. Is it a point deduction or was it just a warning? The best thing that could have oh, happened. Oh, a body shot on the left hook. Absolutely, this is it. Moldovsky, can, this, is, this is his chance to win it now. Yep. 24 to seconds to go. Head nice. body hook, head body hook. He's going up and down the ladder. And Amir has got to keep those hands up and come out now. He needs, He's losing this. Yep. Moldovsky needs to also move in, throw those elbows. Well, you can't throw elbows. 10 seconds to go in the second round here. Oh. And a great punch landed there by Alec Bari. Just missed. Beautiful action here. Superman punch, overhand right. Again, here it comes. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. I, we go okay. to the judges' scorecards. <laughs> it looks like here Moldovsky may have pulled off the second round. Do you believe it was Alec Bari? It could be 2 nothing Alec Bari. It could be 1-1. One, one. It could be 2 nothing Moldovsky. Did, was, there a, did, was there a point deduction by the referee? That's my question. I don't believe. Let's take a look Here's here the at replay. the replay. Left hook. Overhand right, pressuring into him, finishing I mean, I, the single leg. He's grabbing onto the ring. The ref keeps. Slapping. I wouldn't be shocked if we get a third round, gentlemen. I wouldn't be shocked either. Amir is uh, yeah, visibly. Yeah, I think it's going to be a third round. Oh, Amir is exhausted he's, now. He's exhausted. The referee is asking both of these gentlemen to get in here. To come to the middle of the if ring. If we go to a third round, it absolutely is in Valentin's. Madolski's uh, still on his on his stool right now. They're icing him down. They're getting him ready for that third round. Yep. If there's going to be yes. a third round. We don't know until right We're now. We're about to find out. Survey says. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm, I'm really curious. I, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a third round. Well, the fact, as they say, 
Oh, yes. Just for that, oh, there's been no point deduction, but as as they say many times in mixed martial arts, the longer it takes for the judges to render the decision, Wow. Judge Koike, Ami. Judge Umeda, Ami. Wow, split decision. Amir Aliakbari defeats Valentin Moldovsky and he moves on to the finals to take on Mirko Prokop Filipovic in the final tonight at Sai Games Presents Rising Fighting World Grand Prix 2016. The belt will be wrapped around the waist of either an Iranian or a Croatian. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, I was conflicted with what I wasn't sure what was going to happen right, right there. Yesterday, same situation, Joe, happened with Heath. I swore there should be a third round, and there wasn't one. So today, yep. again, it happened again. So I, I have to agree with the referee or the judge's decision there. I definitely think Amir won both rounds. I think Valentine did a fantastic job. Here we see Amir with the single leg takedown. You know, Valentine, you know, I think he just gave up that first round, which I think ended up hurting him. He just he, he forfeited around trying to get Amir tired, and then he just wasn't able to come back and capitalize in the second. Once again, I think Heath, you're right. The the weight, the size advantage won that fight for him. Oh, 100%. 100%. Undoubted. This is why one of the toughest things to do in the world is come over to Saitama Super Arena and win, win the open weight tournament. All right, Heath Herring, thank you very much for joining us. You've got some stuff to take care of, yes, but we sir. will see you Thanks later for on me, this gentlemen. evening yeah, come for the back finals. See us, see. Absolutely. I'd love it. Thank you. There we have it. Joe Warren, a spectacular semi-final with Amir Ayakbari moving on to take on Mirko Krokop Filipovic. But up next, we have Hayato Mahasakurai taking on Wataro Sakata in a belt that many of the Japanese fans here know all about.